Personal trainer Marilyn Nichols, who is suing womanizing basketball star Tristan Thompson for child support, has given birth to a baby boy. The Daily Mail exclusively revealed on Friday that the Sacramento Kings star was said to become a father for the third time following an alleged fling with 31-year-old Nichols. At one point, Thompson insisted his personal trainer lover get an abortion and offered her 75000 in cash money after she fell pregnant while he was still dating Chloe Kardashian, according to court filing. According to bombshell documents obtained by the Dell Mail, the baby was conceived in Houston, Texas during Thompson's 30th birthday celebrations in March when he was dating Chloe, with whom he shares a three-year-old daughter. Nicole's a Houston native, has since moved to Los Angeles and is now suing the authority for child support as well as for reimbursement of medical expenses and pregnancy-related costs. She has also filed to submit text messages between her and Thompson as evidence for her paternity lawsuit, which allegedly showed that he wanted her to terminate the pregnancy. Attorneys for Nicole's claim that the communications show Thompson addressing the party's relationship and insisting that she get an abortion and threatening that she will get next to nothing with the lesser support requirements in Texas. In a copy of a shocking text message obtained by Rada, Thompson allegedly offers Nicole 75000 to keep quiet and warns that he is retiring after his NBA season and will therefore be unemployed. He also makes it clear that he has no plans to be involved in the child's life. You know how I feel. My feelings haven't changed at all. Won't be involved at all. If you think having this baby is gonna make you some money, it's completely wrong. The text message allegedly sent by Thompson reads, You are aware that I'm retiring after this season. So in terms of support, it will be whatever is required monthly or someone who is unemployed. It's Texas, so it will be only a couple hundred dollars. So you better off taking this 75,000 I am offering because you won't get nothing near that with having a kid with a father who's unemployed. According to the filing, Thompson denied sending the messages but also claims his contact information is present in them. Seen in exclusive photos, the heavy pregnant 31-year-old described as a former friend of Thompson's was due to give birth to her baby boy on December 3rd. In a declaration included in paternity suit, Thompson acknowledges having sex with Nicole several times at a hotel after the pair attended a party together. The 30 year old described in the document how Nicole drove him to the event in her sports car before returning to his hotel where she had a special birthday surprise for him, which he had admitted he knew would be sex. Thompson claims that night was the only time he was intimate with Nicole. A version of Evis that is hotly disputed by her lawyers, who say the affair began at least five months before his 30th birthday celebrations, involved Nicole's traveling to California on multiple occasions and continued after she got pregnant. He said, When we go to my hotel room, we immediately had sexual intercourse. Petitioner initiated our sexual contact and never objected to our having sexual intercourse. She was very awake and conscious and did not exhibit any signs that she was other than a willing participant in our sexual activities. We did not drink at my hotel room and the petitioner was not drunk. After we had sexual intercourse, petitioner specifically asked me if she could spend the night because it was my special birthday as she called it. I told her I had to get up early in the morning, but she said it would not be an issue for her. After we had sexual intercourse, we went to bed. 
We were both naked sleeping with one another before I left the hotel. We had sexual intercourse again in the morning. At that time, the Canadian basketball star was still dating ex-girlfriend Chloe Kardashian, 37, the mother of his three-year-old daughter, Drew, and had celebrated his milestone birthday with her days earlier. The reality star confirmed that two were back together following their February 2019 split after his three highly publicized cheating scandals with a sentimental Instagram post on the day of his birthday, March 13th. The ones that are meant to be are the ones who go through everything that is designed to tear them apart and they become out even stronger than they were before, Chloe wrote alongside a photo of the couple and their family. Thank you for showing me everything you said you would, for the father you are, for the best friend I have in you, I am thankful that I can do absolutely nothing with you and it feels like everything. Chloe is also mentioned in his statement which was signed off on August 5th and, referred, and is referred to as Thompson's ex-girlfriend and the mother of his child. Thompson also has a four-year-old son, Prince Thompson, with model Jordan Craig. The sports star and his legal team did not respond to a request for comment from the tabloids. Humiliated Chloe dumped the serial cheater in July after the DailyMail.com exclusively revealed that the athlete had been seen entering a room with three women during a wild Beverly Hills party. Days before, the mom of one had used the Keeping Up with the Kardashian reunion show to tell of how she had learned to trust Womanizer Thompson again. She said, I mean I definitely trust him as a friend and all those things. What I need to find out, everything comes my way. I just need to trust and focus on today and go day by day. I can't worry too much about everything else. I know the growth and the work that he's done. I know all the help that he's got and the constant effort that he makes every single day and how hard he fought to get me back current. I don't understand why someone would go through all that if they weren't really serious. But the Daily Mail can reveal that Nichols was already pregnant with Thompson's alleged baby when Chloe made that comment and that she was already suing the love cheat for child support. Court papers show the 31 year old personal trainer launched her paternity suit on June 30th in Los Angeles shortly after relocating from Texas. In the papers, Nichols asks for child support as well as reimbursement of medical expenses and pregnancy related costs such as a dollar and prenatal vitamins. She also wants Thompson to foot the bill for the baby's boy's costs such as newborn clothing, formula and diapers. Thompson wants the case moved to Texas to limit the amount of child support Nichols can be awarded but has not expressly denied that he could be the baby's father. Although he is insisting on a paternity test once the little boy is born. He is also fighting in the calls over whether the California court system has jurisdiction insisting she was a resident of Texas at the time of conception and accuses her of venue shopping. Despite owning a house in the LA suburb of Encino, Thompson claims that he only has the home for the purpose of seeing his other children and to prevent them being hounded by the paparazzi. Although he was traded to the Sacramento Kings earlier this year, Thompson also says he is resident and pays taxes in Massachusetts, the home of his former team, the Boston Celtics. He said he will not be moving to Sacramento despite signing for the Kings and had no choice about being traded to the team. 
Thompson is also complaining about the way court papers were served on him, claiming Nicole's legal team had been lying in wait and slipped through the gates of his personal home in front of his children to hand over the documents. Trust me when I say that, more baby mamas I believe are coming out. More baby mamas are going to come out. And the way this guy recklessly lives his life, it's like, you know, they don't, they don't use condoms. They are not afraid of diseases. How can you even want to have a second baby with a man like that one? Chloe, please, you can do much better than Tristan. Looks like True's siblings are all going to come from a different mother. Well, that's all I have for now. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching.